I'm gonna talk about how this piece of this headphone landed me in the ER. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, been a minute since we had one, but we have a subscriber sponsored request that is overdue, actually. But everything laid out here for a sizzling skillet fajitas. So we've got the seasoned skillet, mixing bowl, some pre done chicken, pre sliced peppers and onions cheese, a little bit of pickling brine for the skillet later when it's piping hot, tortillas, we got some seasonings for the chicken, a little tomatillo sauce, and uh, of course some lime wedges for a squeeze. So let's get into this real hot and quick. This is for my boy DWB. Sorry for being tardy on this one, but life happens. <laughs> quick chicken marinade, strips into the bowl. We got oil, we'll coat, the smoky ranchero, and we got tahini. Nice pinch of cumin. A little squeeze of lime. Get your hands in there. Okay, we're gonna one pan this. Slap a tortilla in. <laughs> Couple tortillas. Quick little flip. Nice little brown. Perfect. Just how we want it. Oil into the pan. Get her nice and dancing. Make it sizzle. Make it sizzle. Got some nice color coming along there. All right, I'm gonna get all the flavors deglazed onto these peppers and onions. A little vinegar water. I'm gonna sweat these out for a little while. I'll check back when they're ready. All right, the peppers is all done. And onions, of course. What you think, looking pretty good or not? Nah? Very Cajun-esque, it seems. Okay, time to light this baby up. A little hot pepper brine. Chicken. Put some peppers back in. Yes. You can make it go again, a little more brine. You have it, my guy. Your smoking, sizzling skillet. Now we're gonna transfer this out into the Garden of Eden. All right, y'all, here's the platter. Time to get at her. All right, once again, big shout out to the boy, the man, the legend, DWB. Sorry, a little late, but you know they say, better late than never, right? Okay, now, I don't know about you, but the sour cream is getting a little excited. <laughs> it's freaking me out, but uh, I'm also excited for this too. So, sour cream, a little tomatillo sauce in the back. It's got a little heat to it, like a green salsa kind of deal. The skillet has cooled, obviously, because I needed to do some transfers, but... Uh, you know, is what it is. Now, I got a story time for you guys here, and this is recent, just the other day. I'm gonna talk about how this piece of this headphone landed me in the ER. <laughs> God damn it. I'm getting creamed all over and shit. Is that a bad thing? It depends on who's creaming on you, I guess. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, off the dirty mind, into the skillet. Okay, we're just gonna hand bomb, obviously. These little pre-toasters. All right, we're gonna hand slash finger bomb this. What we'll build up front, we have little pliable pre-toasties. I think I'm gonna go with an adhesive layer right here first. And then uh, during this, we're gonna talk about how I got <laughs> that silicone piece lodged in my eardrum and could not get it out and uh, had to go to the ER. So. Life's an adventure, right? Life's crazy, things happen. Sometimes you get things lodged in your body that you don't want in your body. And sometimes you gotta go to the ER about it, okay? So, chicken in, peppers in, cheese sprinkle in. I'm only gonna be having, I brought four tortillas toasted because this is a lunch and I got things to do, AKA swimming with my mom in a bit here. 
but I think it's a perfect light little summertime little summertime fiesta there you go all right last thing to do is to squeeze the fresh lime on top and get in for a bite that juicy saucy fresh goodness <laughs> oh my god that lime hitting off that the lime hitting off that green sauce that juicy butt that's incredible A little sloppy. My towel for wiping off the table. It was a little wet out here. Classic towel though, right? Look at this. It's from like the 60s, back in my, from my grandparents. All right, intermission, 12 year old dream, a froster. Yes, I did have a Coca-Cola slushy yesterday. But sometimes you gotta re relive your youth. Also, this channel is basically a guy predominantly eating the diet of a 12 year old's dream. So there's also that. It's in line, on brand. Y'all think it's a party foul? <laughs> I don't know how to accommodate for this sun that's creeping. Y'all think it's a party foul that I'm building these by hand or is it acceptable, right? I don't have any mini tongs. I just wish I had mini tongs. Something to invest in the next time I'm at the dollar store, probably. All right, so I sleep with like oh, zen type music because that's just my deal. You guys know about this, my anxious mind and whatnot. So I generally have meditation music going real low in the headphones and I sleep with, you know, they're plugged in deep and I have very soft memory foam pillows though, so they like accommodate that pressure. It's not like too harsh or whatever. And I've been sleeping with these guys in my ear for like, I don't know, a year now or longer. And uh, never had any issues. God damn it, these are so good. I'm telling you, these are something different. Never had any problems, da 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 da. So the other morning I wake up My right side, it might, feels like there's something in there. And I can, I feel like I can't hear as well. And I go to dig and it's like almost up in the canal, but wasn't quite. But when I went to go see what was going on, cause I woke up confused and shit, right? That jammed it into the canal. I realized what had happened. I immediately just yell fuck, like very loud. Cause I know that this is about to be a whole ass process. So I'm like, okay. Hey. So I'm like, I don't have tweezers and don't ask me why I don't have tweezers. I just don't carry tweezers. So I get on the horn with my sister because she's nurse status. She's good at tweezer shit extractions. And I'm like, she could probably just pull it out for me. <laughs> Call her. She's at work at the hospital. 
I tell her my predicament. She's like, you could probably just go do a walk-in for that. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll figure something out. So I get a dental cleaning device, the very thin metal tip, sterilize it very carefully. So we'll see if I can just kind of fish it out. I know it's a bad idea to go deep, puncture my eardrum and stuff. So I'm like, nah, I, I can't do this. I think to myself, I'm like, do I go get tweezers? So buy tweezers and see if I can tweeze it, but it's like, I can't get the angle. So I'm like, this is an ER mission now. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna wait on this. I'm just going. Go to the ER. It's absolutely packed, of course. I get all my shit, my bracelet, blah, blah, blah. And the woman on intake, like my admittance nurse, she was asking about it. And I was like, normally I would just get my sister to fish this out, but she's in, like, cause she's a nurse and knows what the fuck's up. But uh, she's working right now and she works and she works here. And she's like, oh, is that so? Da -da, who is she, blah, blah. And she's like, maybe I can pull you a little quick favor. Like, cause this shouldn't be too hard, right? And I was like, well, I would be sick. That would be appreciated. So <clears throat> I go back, I'm standing out waiting to get in this guy in a wheelchair who's like arthritic and whatever he's like 60 maybe uh he's like he's like hey young youngin <laughs> if you got nothing to do you want to take me out for a smoke because he couldn't really roll his chair he couldn't get back in and stuff if he went for a smoke and i was like okay i'm sure i have time to burn here so took him for a smoke heard about his life for a little bit and uh, brought him back in get back in i'm telling him about everything like, like what's going on with me <laughs> and he's like kind of like starting to he's like i don't know that could be surgery <laughs> he's like trying to trip me out and uh he's like you're gonna you're gonna be waiting a long time a couple hours maybe four hours in that same breath the nurse comes out of the doors and yells my name <laughs> i'm like what everybody in the waiting room you could tell was like what's going on here like felt so slighted so i go back uh within within five minutes of being in the room this one nurse brings in like a a water device to go or no through the canal or like i don't know how they put that in the canal but they get it the water div device in the canal if if it even needs that and then the ear the the, the uh, ear nose throat guy comes in and uh i tell them what's up i i brought the, the example piece to show him off my other bud like the other side and he's like all right let's have a look at this and he's like oh this is probably just a tweezer job i was like how hard do you think it's going to be? He's like, this is as easy as it gets, my, my, my friend. He's like, in 30 years, you have no idea what I've seen in people's ears and what I've had to extract. I was like, is that so? He told me the worst thing is, is bugs, actually. Mm. He said that bugs, like ticks, things that nest in are the absolute worst. So he gets me the angle. Just one, two little digs, boop, out. I was so relieved. <laughs> like the level of happiness that day, I was just like. What could have been an absolute <laughs> painstaking nightmare was real quick so I was counting my blessings I bust open out of the doors back into 
like triage of the you know the waiting room and i see my boy in the wheelchair and i like hold up the piece i'm like <laughs> held it up he's like no oh. <laughs> so i go back and talk to him i'm like he got it out in two seconds like it's all good blah blah and then uh He was happy for me. And then I said to him, I'm like, do you want to go for one more smoke before I go? I'll take you out. Again, if you want. And then he's like, well, I'm not going to be able to get back in. I'm like, obviously, I'm going to stand there with you and bring you back in. <laughs> and then I'll leave. So, went out with him. Chatted with him a bit more. Wished him the best, wished him luck. And then I was on my merry way. Just so goddamn relieved that it went the way that it went. Finally, some cloud coverage. That light was blowing everything out. I don't know how that's going to affect the video during the process, but but yeah, all I know is that could have went so much worse <laughs> and uh, all praises to the most and also sorry to everybody in the waiting room <laughs> that was probably just pissed at me. They're probably like, why is this guy, why does this guy get to go in so fast? But I guess it was because like, you know, there's people in there for way more serious stuff right that takes like really being admitted i think they knew that it was a a quick job and just to get me in and out and have it be done and dealt with and maybe the doc that doctor guy had a spare minute right because apparently he works in a different wing of the hospital the ENT, ear, ear, nose, throat, so they probably like paged him and were like, what's your status? He's like, free, free and clear or whatever. Come up, boom. Done and done. So, a tip for you. If you sleep with earbuds in, don't sleep with the kind of silicone ones that are interchangeable. For the, the, the adapt, they adapt for the different size of your ear. You know, it comes with usually three sets. over a set of three so it's risky and now I'm like it's kind of messed up my sleep game because I'm paranoid about it so I just have to like maybe find a different pair of earbuds but I still need my zen my zen music to like doze off properly And I like having like a plugged ear when I sleep. All right, be honest with y'all. When I had these in my head, when I was like, I'll make them like this, I was like, they're gonna be good. When that first one went in my mouth, I didn't think it was going to be that good. These were like very, very awesome. Like out of the things that I've cooked over time on this channel, like this ranks with one of those ones where something I haven't really tried before conceptually, bite into it and everything just worked. This being a key element, but also the, the seasoning and the flavoring of the chicken, like that smoky ranchero and the and the tahini and that the chicken is awesome too and then having done the onions and the deglaze too it just imparts all that flavor from the chicken i don't know those were <laughs> those were like top top like those are 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 those are two guns sellable that's exactly what those are people would would definitely buy these and be like oh fuck this is nice 
So I'll have to bank this one in the old recipe mind. Um, big shout out to DWB. I hope you enjoyed it, my brother. Till the next one, y'all know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.